Hi everybody and <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Hopefully this will be a halfway decent video. Um, I had major issues with my laptop. Apparently the webcam that we purchased was not syncing and wasn't connected to my laptop. So after three hours with um, the wonderful Best Buys Geek Squad, which I highly recommend to people like me. Um, the Geek Squad took care of everything. So hopefully I'll be able to make decent videos. Anyway, today I am talking to you about this great head of hair from Henry Margu Wigs. This is Hannah. Isn't she adorable? She is a cute layered number. Um, I don't know how I would refer to the style as because it's not quite a bob by any means, but it's not super layered. The ends are rather almost blunt, but either way, this is a great wig. And it's the kind of wig that I happen to like because it is slightly unstyled. It's like that wig that when you first wake up in the morning and you can go up to people and just say, yeah, I woke up like this. And then they can be super jealous because your hair looks so good. Anyway, let me give you um, the color of this before I venture into other opinions about this head of hair. Okay. This shade is 10 dash 613 GR and it is a gradient. See how this, uh, see how the roots are darker and they just blend like the blendability of this wig is absolutely excellent. And while I'm here with my piece of paper that has the information, I'm going to give you the specs, even though it's not like me to give specs, I'm giving them anyway. Okay, so the bang is five and a half inches. The ear tab is nine. The nape is seven. And the top is from four to um, like, I think they said 10. I'm not too sure. But anyway, hold on and let's take a better look at her without giving you numbers. Now, you know that I don't like to give numbers on the specs because as I've said in the past, everybody's different. Look, I basically don't have a neck unless I stretch it like super, super, super like stretchy. My neck is sort of disappearing, okay? So for me, this wig is gonna be longer than for somebody who has an actual swan type neck. So that's where I kind of get weirded out by the length. I really think that when you're looking for a wig, you really, really, really need to see how that wig looks on other people. And you need to see how that wig looks on a lot of other people, because this is the best way that you can actually kind of get an idea of how it will look on you. Now I have a square face, so if you have a square face and basically no neck, then you're kind of going to get the gist of what Hannah looks like on you. Um, I'm not going to lie. I did customize her slightly. The bang had more of a wave out of the box. So what I did, I just took a flat iron on the absolute lowest setting. And like when I say lowest setting, I mean lowest setting. And all I did was just take the bang and just very gently, I glided it down because I do like a more straight look in the front that I can kind of just like push back with a pin or just kind of pushback or even if I want it to just like fall on my face. It's it's a personal preference. So anyway, we have these really great layers. And that's one of the things that I really do like about the Henry Margu brand. They really know how to do layering. Plus they know how to do beautifully blended colors. So I'm going to go from side to side and in the back so you can see what Hannah looks like, okay? I'm gonna move a little bit back here 
so you'll get a better view of the entire wig without having to look at my face. Okay, hold on. Okay, now here, here's my right side. See how the ends, they're not like super blunt, but they're just blunt enough so that it gives you a good sense of volume, okay? Here is, here's the back. There's good layering back here too. And here is my left side. So that's it. Now, what do you think? I mean, this color is great because another thing about this shade is that it's kind of platinum-y and it's kind of like blonde bordering on gray. So here's the thing. If you are of that age group, um, let's say the more mature age group than the younger age group, and you're kind of thinking of going gray and you don't want to cut your hair off, this is a perfect wig because the color is so friendly and you kind of, you can't really tell, is it blonde or is it gray? It's kind of that in-between stage. So if you're kind of a little bit put off by going totally gray, I think this color is a great, great option. And again, with the length, I know that a lot of women in my um, particular demographic, how can I put this, feel that long hair isn't appropriate for them. Now, I definitely have upsetting vibes about that because I think no matter what age you are, you shouldn't be limited into what hair length you want. I say, if you are in your 70s and you love long hair, then you better rock that long hair. Because chances are, if you have that long hair, and if you're sashaying, and if you're sauntering with confidence, then you're going to look great. On the other hand, somebody else may not be comfortable with super long hair. For me, as I've pro-aged and as, as I've gone beyond the 65-year mark, I don't like super long hair on me anymore. Like, this is purely for me. I feel that super long hair weighs my face down. So I go for a length that's more, like, that's actually akin to this or just slightly longer. And what I love about this is that you can pump up the volume with your fingers, okay? And we've got these layers that you can kind of like push in front of your face like this so that you've got some like kind of narrowing of your wide face or you can just push it back like that. I mean for a for a little wig this is really versatile and I have to say I am really happy with the way she looks. I'm thrilled that I was able to um, manipulate the bang into the way that I like it. And I think that's something that's really important. You know, when you see these wigs in the stock photo, a lot of times they look so much different in real life. And that's why I think wig reviews are completely validated in how a wig really looks. Um, let me take her off so you can see the inside. Okay, so. What she has is one of these really cool strips that I am having a senior moment. So it's a silicone. Ah. Okay, she's got the silicone strip, which I really like because Honestly, I think it helps to keep the wig in place more. Even though I'm wearing a wig cap, it really helps, especially in this weather. Now, we've got this really nice laser cut laced front, which is great. We have a mono top, so you are not 
like limited in where you can part her. You can part her pretty much where you want, and that's a good thing. If you want it more to the left, yeah. If you want it more to the right, yeah. If you want it in the middle, yeah. For me, I kind of gave her a crooked part because it looks a little bit more natural. The ear tabs are super, super comfortable because there's not a ton of wiring in these. Here's the nape. And look, my favorite kind of straps, Velcro. So overall, she's super comfortable, but I'm gonna put her back on my head so this way, you can see how I parted her a little bit crooked. Hold on, let's go. All right, so my little Hannah has a mind of her own. Okay, so can you see? I did that crooked thing because I happen to really like that crooked thing. It just looks more natural. I don't know. That's just me. Maybe it's not you, but that's the way I like it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little review of Hannah. She comes in a myriad of shades, which I think is great. And another added, um, another added little something is we're entering into the end of summer into the beginning of fall. Now, with fall comes cooler weather. With cooler weather comes sweaters and kind of nubby textures like knits and even wools, depend cashmere. Like, we're going to be getting rid of the cotton soon, okay? So, how can I put this? If you want your wig to last longer, when you're wearing a sweater or a nubby type of texture, it's better to have a wig that's not that long. And this is the perfect length because it's not going to get caught into a scarf. It's not going to get all like ruined at the ends because of a textured sweater. So there's a lot to consider. There's a lot to consider when thinking about purchasing Hannah. And I honestly think that Hannah is definitely worth the purchase. So have a good day and I will see you later. And now that I've got my other camera working, let me see if I can actually figure out how to shut this thing off. I will see you later. Bye.